1972 was one of those football seasons at Ole Mizzou. A bittersweet experience, sometimes frustrating, excitingly rewarding, and almost unbelievable. Coming off a couple of tough early season losses, Coach Al Onofrio's Tigers sent shockwaves across the nation by upsetting previously unbeaten Notre Dame and powerful Colorado on back-to-back -back weekends. Iowa State was a third late-season upset victim. Missouri, in effect, came off the canvas to win a national rating in the polls, a bowl bid, and the acclaim of those who root for the underdog. They learn something from adversity, as their coach so aptly put it. They earn the respect of football fans everywhere. They renewed the tradition of a tough, winning attitude at Missouri. Yes, the Tigers of 72 were overachievers. All roads lead to Faroe Field on an early autumn Saturday in Columbia. The colorful college football scene is set. Missouri opens with Oregon of the Pacific Coast Conference. And the Tigers are on the field. Kickoff is just minutes away. Coach Al Onofrio groups his squad and says, let's go. Oregon quickly jumped off to a 13-0 lead before Missouri scored as John Cherry hit Don Johnson for Missouri's first touchdown. Cherry brought the Tigers further back by hitting split end Jim Sharp for a 22-yard touchdown pass. Then the Tiger defense helped out. Defensive halfback John Mosley intercepted this Dan Fouts pass, and he returned it all the way for the TD. The Tigers were rolling now, and quarterback John Cherry keeps on this sprint out and kept the drive going that eventually set up a Greg Hill field goal attempt. Big decision coming up by the head coach. And Hill kicked a 31-yard field goal with only six seconds on the clock. Missouri won it 24-22 over Oregon. After losing to Baylor, the Tigers prepared to play California. An honored guest was on hand in Missouri. Standing alongside this pretty co-ed, Bob Hope, in town to appear before a sellout crowd at Hearn's Auditorium that night. He made a welcomed appearance at the football game. And as the Tigers played California, John Cherry got Mizzou off and running with a 38-yard pass to Jim Sharp for a touchdown. Junior halfback Chuck Link scored the first of his three touchdowns that afternoon. That tied a Missouri record for most touchdowns in a single game. A quick running back, Ray Bybee, picked up 39 yards on this play. And he ran for 185 yards against California. The defense, too, played a big part in the contest. Here's Missouri's defensive end, J.L. Doak, throwing the California quarterback for a loss. Missouri defense set a school record by holding California to a minus 77 yards rushing. Missouri 34, California 27. Missouri dipped its football colors the next two weeks, losing to Oklahoma State and Nebraska on the road. The Cowboys won it in the last minute. The Cornhuskers were devastating. So it was back to the practice field for a week of dead earnest hard work and renewed dedication, getting ready for Notre Dame. This is the week. Missouri found itself. Early in the game, safety Bob Pankey intercepted this Tom Clemens pass and returned it to the Notre Dame 46-yard line. A few plays later on a fourth down situation, halfback Leroy Moss from Poplar Bluff scored on this pitch out. But the Fighting Irish came roaring back. And they evened the score on this short plug.
John Cherry then hit sharp again, this time for 32 yards to the Notre Dame 22. Moss carried it to the one. And the quarter came to a close. Don Johnson over for the touchdown. The Tigers weren't through scoring for the day. Cherry hit the freshman Henry Marshall on this out pattern. Don Johnson crashed for more yardage. Halfback Bill Ziegler caught this cherry pass, good for 31 yards. And then Johnson went over a few plays later for the touchdown. That made the score Missouri 21, Notre Dame 14 at the half. As the second half got underway, Cherry passed to Jack Bastable for 30 yards. This play carried to the Notre Dame 8. Then Greg Hill kicked a line drive field goal. Missouri 24, Notre Dame 14. Then perhaps the key play of the game on the following kickoff. Notre Dame receiving. And Roger Yanko recovers the fumble. Several plays later, Greg Hill kicked another field goal. That made it 27-14. He kicked one more, and the score was 30-14 before Notre Dame began its comeback. And this Notre Dame score made it Missouri 30, Notre Dame 26 in a wild football game. The Irish then failed on this two-point attempt. With two minutes and 14 seconds remaining in the football game, defensive back Mike Fink came up with a big play and intercepted this desperation pass. And as this thrilling game came to a close, defensive end J.L. Doak recovered a Notre Dame fumble. And Missouri had pulled off an incredible win over the Fighting Irish. Could the Tigers settle down after that win?